Hey friends, welcome to my channel or welcome back. So I'm going to be doing my August update for my project pan. I want to say this is update number seven. So I have four empties. I finished up all my personal care products and that I've had in this project. So I'm really happy about how things went this month. So let's just get into it. I'm going to start off with my two personal care products and then I will talk about those first and then talk about what I'm replacing them with. So the first thing that I finished up was my argan oil treatment. And so I brought this in in March and I've been just sort of like working away at it since then. And I said as of the last update, that I thought I had about three weeks left on this and I was pretty much spot on. I did finish this up in just under three weeks. I was here when we started, when we started this and now I was down to here by the last update and now I am empty. So I am super happy to have this finished. I feel like this really sort of got me on to embracing my natural hair texture and I don't know if you guys can see a difference but I've seen a really big difference in how my hair looks and feels. This side of my hair used to basically be straight and now Things are pretty even on both sides, so I am really happy about that. And I'm just sort of looking forward to getting a chance to try some try some more hair care products that are a little bit more suited to my hair type and texture, rather than working through a bunch of like older products that I bought when I really had no idea, and or things that my mom bought for her hair that haven't been as suited for me. Um, and this was one of those items. So next up, this was kind of a gimme. I wasn't sure if I'd have this finished by this month, but I did manage to finish up my solar oil. So this had just a tiny little bit left in it last month, although a little with this goes a very long way. And I have pretty much been able to finish this. There is a little bit left in there, but it's really hard for me to get it out. So I'm going to be calling this an empty and moving on to my backup. I'm really happy to have this done. I was sort of dragging my feet on this until I had a backup, but I did acquire a backup a couple months ago. So we're going to call that an empty and move on. So I'm going to be replacing those with makeup items. So the first thing that I wanted to bring in was my ABH Brow Wiz. I got the shade Auburn and it's a good match for my hair, but my hair and my brows are slightly different colors. So my brows are a little bit darker and a little bit less red. I would like to finish this at some point. I've never tried to finish one of these, so I don't know how long it's going to take, but I did note this down in my handy dandy YouTube notebook. The Brow Wiz, I have about this much left on it. So I've marked where I was, where I am as of August, and then I'll mark where I am in September. So I'm gonna have I, I think by the time you guys see this, I'll have a get ready with me explaining what August is going to look like around here. So I don't know how much progress I'm actually going to see on a lot of these items over the next month, just because I'm having surgery and then I'm going into a pretty intense summer class. So I have no idea, but I'm hoping I'll have like just a little tiny movement on this and I will be definitely happy with that. So I'm going to be bringing in my Elf Shears Lake as well. I do want to finish this at some point. Now this straight up catfish me, I was expecting this to be much more of a neutral shade. And I mean like it's pretty obviously a hot pink. However, I will say that this is very light and it feels slightly moisturizing. I'm going to probably just use this as a lip balm when I'm around the house and I'm hoping I'll get some use out of it this way because it's definitely not my favorite color on me. I bought this online. The drugstores near me don't carry elf in stores, so I wanted to try these, but I definitely should have gotten the shade Golden Peach instead, so you live and learn, but I would like to finish this up at some point. I also have this in my notebook and this has a little bit more left in it, so it's this one right here. So as you can see, I have like a decent amount left on this. So like I said, as long as I see a little bit of progress on this by the next update, I will be fine with that. But yeah, I think this is something that I can get away with just wearing around the house as a lip balm. And hopefully I can get some use out of it that way because I don't know how comfortable I'm gonna be wearing this out of the house with most looks. So we will see. So I did manage to finish up my Maybelline Fit Me Matte Foundation. So I was about here as of the last update. I've used this eight additional times and we are empty for 28 uses total in this project. I'm really happy to have this finished. I think I realized that I'm just not really a foundation girl. I think what I'm looking for is more of like a filter, but like in real life, I just don't like how foundation looks and feels on my skin. And I think if maybe I had an easier time finding foundations that actually matched me, I might feel slightly differently, but it is what it is. So I am just happy to have no foundations in my collection. We are going to recycle this and feel good about it. I'm going to replace this with my Rare Beauty Concealer. I got the shade 100W, which seemed like the closest match for my skin tone. And this is a good couple of shades too light for me. So I do use this on my under eyes, sort of like on the inner portion, and then I use a darker concealer on the outer bit and I sort of blend them together. And so that's what I've been doing, which is I think part of the reason why this is pretty slow going, even though I try to conceal my under eyes most of the time now. So I would like to finish this at some point. I don't know how long it's going to take, but I do want to really just try to get this out of my collection at some point over the next like year or so before this expires. So I am right about here 
and I really have no idea what to expect for where I want this to be as of the next update. I, I think I'm gonna say the same thing that I've said with pretty much everything else is that as long as I see some movement considering what August is looking like, I'm gonna be like fine with that. I think September will probably give me a better sense of what movement is going to look like for this on an average month. So we're just gonna try to use this a couple of times and call it a day. I'm also going to experiment with using this as sort of like a highlight and maybe using it in other parts of my face like around my nose and not just on my eyes and we'll just kind of see what I can figure out to do with this. Having said that, if you have any ideas of what to do with a concealer that is too light for you that isn't using it as an eye base, feel free to let me know because I, I would like to get you know as much use out of this as I can before it expires so let me know. <laughs> so let's talk about my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Milk. So I've used this 11 times since the last update. This is the first month where I feel like I've made visible progress on this. As of the last month you could just sort of you could see the entire NYX on this and now it's pretty much entirely gone. Again, I'm not making a lot of promises for August, especially because I think if I'm in the classroom, I'm probably going to want to use an actual eye primer rather than this, but I would like to get a little bit more use out of this. So I'm hoping that I can just sort of get rid of the remainder of the, of the word NYX here, and then we'll sort of consider that good if I can get there by the end of the next month. All right, so next up, I think you're probably going to see a little bit of a difference in my ColourPop Super Shock because I had a pretty large pan on this as of the last update, and then I sort of decided to squish it back together so that it's all in sort of like a single layer. Every time I use this, I try to like flatten it more than trying to dig down and go for the pan. So I don't really know what to expect for this one. I honestly thought I was going to have this finished by now, but it is taking a while. So I'm just sort of leaning into using this as my daily blush, and I'm gonna continue doing that pretty much until I can finish it. So I don't know if I'll see a pan on this by the next update, although it would certainly be cool if it happened. I have no idea how close I am, but I guess we're gonna find out. So I've used this 13 times total since the last update, and I think that's probably going to be fairly standard from now on until I can manage to get this finished and or see some more progress on it because yeah, this is one of those ones that I definitely do wanna finish sooner rather than later. So I'm just going to continue doing what I'm doing and there might be a pan by next update. I have no idea, but that would be cool. Okay, next up I have another empty. So I did manage to finish my Wet n Wild Mega Glow in the shade Halo Goodbye. I used this three additional times and this is all done. So funny story with this. So I noticed that there was a bunch of product just below the stopper and I used my tweezers to try to pull out the stopper and I kind of destroyed it. And then in doing so, I ended up actually like pushing it into the tube instead of pulling it out, which was not quite what I was going for. So I managed to get out pretty much everything that I could. And I did mix the rest of this into a lotion to make sort of like a shimmery lotion. And that was how I finished this. But I'm just happy to have another highlighter down. I feel like I mentioned this all the time, but it's definitely a problem category category for me and something that I'm actively working on. In that vein, I'm going to roll in another highlighter. Now, I didn't purchase this, nor would I have chosen to get this, but Shoppers Drug Mart included this little mini of the nude sticks mini highlighter in the shade Bubbly Bebe, which I'm gonna just like swatch this out for you. And as you can see, I think this is a little bit too dark for me, but it does have a really nice reflectiveness and it shears out. So I'm wearing it today. And I think if I really wanna finish this, I think now into the fall is like the best time because I'm not as pale as I am the rest of the year. And I'm a little bit warmer, so this blends in a little bit more. So I do wanna finish this. I have never really tried to finish a stick highlighter before, so I don't know how long it's going to take, but there really truly is not a ton in this. So we are going to see how this goes. I'm gonna definitely try using this as like an all over lid shade and see if it creases or anything on my lids. So I think there's a bunch of different ways I can use this and I'm hoping I'll be able to finish this probably by like October or November. I'm gonna just sort of lean into making this my daily highlighter for the most part until I can finish this. But I did include this in my notebook. So it's this one right here. And as you can see, there's not a ton, but I just wanna have like a little smidgen of progress on this by the next update. I think September is going to be a better gauge of regular usage rather than August, but like I said, as long as I have some movement with this, I'll definitely be happy with that. I would just like to finish this up before the end of the year. Okay, moving on, I have lip products. So the first one is the Sephora Liquid Lip Cream in the shade Black Bracer Bay. This is still definitely a work in progress. I've used this three times since the last update for 15 uses total, and I definitely noticed that this is getting harder to get out. I would say I probably still have another like 10-ish uses on this, so I think I'll definitely definitely be getting more use out of this once it cools down and we get more into fall. So I also brought in my KVD Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Outlaw. So I'm wearing this today and I've only worn this once. I feel like every update I'm somehow surprised by the passing of time, but I feel like the pandemic has kind of warped my sense of time and I don't know what happened to July. 
I really, I don't know. So I was hoping to wear this more. I'm gonna try to get a couple more uses out of this before I have surgery and then we will kind of see after that. So I would like to get another like two or three uses out of this, but I'm not gonna be like super hard on myself or set like hard goals for August because it's gonna be a weird month. As long as I'm continuing to use this, I'm not trying to finish this. I have a usage goal of 10. So as long as I get to like three or four uses total by the next update, I will be totally fine with that. Then I also have my e.l.f. cream gel liner. So I've used the e.l.f. cream gel liner four times since the last update for 11 uses total and I feel like I'm getting close to pan on this. It's really hard to see but we are we're getting there so I would just like to use this like another five times by the next update and I'm gonna be fine with that. I'm probably going to get rid of this at the end of the year so I just want to get a little bit more use out of it. I think once I get to a point where I'm back in class and I'm wearing more makeup on the daily I think that this I'll probably get more use out of this. I'm just gonna go for, for a goal of five uses for the next update and then last but not least I have the shade Blue Sapphire from the KVD Alchemist palette. I have used this four times and I feel like you can see a slight, diff slight difference. There's a little bit more of a dip and it's a little bit wider. I've been using this a lot on my collarbones and my shoulders and probably I'm gonna go do that after I finish filming this and put on maybe like a tank top or something but this is really pretty on sort of the body too. It's a little bit like ethereal and I've been really enjoying that. I can't believe I've only used this four times but yeah maybe I guess I have but I'm still making progress on this and as soon as I pan this I will be rolling something else in so I would like to see a little bit more of a dip expansion and I think this is one of those things that will be fairly easy to incorporate especially now that it's like prime tank top season so I would like to see a little bit more progress on this by the next update. I'm not really setting a usage goal, but like another six or seven uses would be awesome if I could do that. So that is my update. Those are all my items. And I feel like four empties is pretty good. Didn't I just say in the last update? I think I thought the last update was going to be the last one where I had like a ton of empties. Anyway, I think this is for real, like the last one where I have a ton of empties because everything else I think is going to be a lot more stretched out. So let's talk about my 21 and 21 because I have finished four items from that list through this project and then an additional nail polish, which I'll talk about at some point. So I was at 20 two finished items as of the last update and I'm now up to 27 so I have a grand total of four items left on my list I don't know if all of those are gonna be done by the end of the year but we're gonna try to make that happen if I can I am now at 128.5 percent of my target so I am just sort of trucking along and I'm really happy with how things are going I feel like I've managed to finish up a lot of older items that I've been you know that either haven't suited or have just been getting older in my collection so I'm really happy with how that's going so I'm definitely going to be including this section as part of my project pan but I don't think I'm gonna have any more empties by the next month so there might not be any change by next month I would be very surprised if there was looking at the things that I have left but I'm definitely happy with how this month went and I'm happy to have more things out of my collection all right so in conclusion it's been a great month I'm really happy with having a bunch of especially like long-standing empties out it feels really good I'm just sort of happy with how things are going that is pretty much going to wrap it up for this one how's your project pan going if you're doing this feel free to let me know so if you haven't already subscribed and you want to see more of my content, I upload new videos roughly once a week or so. Like I said, August is weird. I'm going to have a get ready with me explaining all of that situation. I'll have that like linked in the cards or in the description box if you're curious. Under normal circumstances, I upload new beauty videos at least once a week. So if that sounds interesting, feel free to hit that subscribe button and hopefully I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!